Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. And we are here with Moxie who is at the start of Snowy Slough Creek. And of course we are about to get started. So a wolf's life is about one thing, passing on its genes to the next generation. All else from hunting elk to defending a territory drives towards this single goal. You and your mate survive the hazards of the wilderness long enough to meet each other, form a bond, and survive the winter. Now you can try to realize this goal. With pups of your own, you and your mate will become the breeding pair, sometimes called alphas, of your pack. Their survival and the survival of your, your genetic code will be your responsibility. Even with all the dangers you face to reach this point, your real struggle has only just begun. And we're going to go ahead and jump in. So uh, first off, uh, I am sorry for the scuffed audio of the past episodes. So the first three episodes got a little bit messed up. Uh, the game audio didn't record properly, but it should be working this time. So hopefully y'all have those lovely game sounds back. Uh, yeah. Um, I've been trying to fix some of the issues with my audio in general being a little scuffed and hopefully it's sounding a lot better than it was. I think it probably is, um, at least as far as I can tell. So hopefully that's getting better and this time we should have actual game sounds. So for these guys too, I think we're going to try to set up somewhere in this area. I was kind of, kind of trying to think about it and like, you know, we got to figure out where the mule deer are going to be, and they are down here through most of the year, but the problem is this area floods, and that makes it really, really difficult to hunt. So I think we're going to want to go across this way and try to settle up on the slopes a bit, and try and maybe find a den that's a little bit more northern, so that hopefully we're still able to hunt, but we won't have to worry quite as much about... Um, about getting stuck in uh, in the flood waters here in the springtime, and then maybe when it comes time to move dens, as it often does, we can worry about moving it down into this area a little bit more. So I think this, well, maybe not quite. As we get closer to these slopes, we do, do want to start marking some of this area. Also, uh, we are joined currently by Lady Evelyn. F, do you want to say hi? Evelyn does not want to say hi. <laughs> she, she did not even look up. She is taking a bath on my bed. Um, but she is here now and will be for the next few episodes, so you may or may not hear her. Depends on if she decides to sleep or if she decides she wants food, uh, as she often does at this time of night. So we shall see, we shall see. Uh, you might uh, might fi finally hear her making an appearance. It's kind of hit or miss whether or not she decides to chime in. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started on marking some of this territory with these two. And uh, Percy's laying down over there by the looks of it. And uh, we'll see. We'll basically just kind of try and claim some of this area, I think. And maybe settle down somewhere up here, hopefully. But I'm going to go ahead and let these two get to it. As a reminder, Moxie's challenge is that she can only hunt doe mule deer. So we probably won't be hunting with them for a little bit unless we happen to find one. But uh, yeah, for the time being, we're going to go ahead and focus on marking some territory. All right, we marked this one quite a lot. Uh, Percy's continuing to mark it. But uh, what I wanted to do is actually take a look at this mule deer trail here because we did stumble on one while we were going in to get this scent post. And generally, kind of the approach that I have for Moxie is that it's better to hunt when you have the chance. And this is a doe mule deer, so we are able to hunt it. Oop, it went this way, though. Um, it's generally better to hunt when you have the chance, just because you never know when you're going to have that chance or not. Sometimes you might find only bucks. Sometimes you might end up not finding any mule deer at all. Whatever the case may be, it's generally a good practice to make sure that we are doing these hunts when, we are, when we're able to, just to make sure that uh, we don't ever run into a situation where we can't find food uh, as could be possible but uh yeah <laughs> it's just just wise to be a little bit safe now we are going deep into stranger wolf territory from this uh which is not ideal and wow we really didn't do all that much damage i think if we can slow it down maybe percy will be able to get a bite or even if we can steer it this way sometimes you can kind of yeah you can kind of circle around him like this and herd them a little bit and if we get a good side bite, maybe we'll be able to do a little bit of extra damage. 19 isn't terrible. It could be better. It could be worse. Oh, Percy got thrown off pretty quickly there, Rip. Uh, hopefully he'll be able to get a good bite because we're about yet to get kicked off. Oh, I don't know if he's going to be or not. All right. Well, we should still be able to... She's just going back this way now. Uh, we should still be able to do it. we got just got to let her stamina regen a little bit. Uh, this might be a bit of a longer hunt, and I mostly just don't want to get jumped by stranger wolves in the process, uh, because that would that would not be ideal. That would really not be ideal. 
Here we go. This is a little bit better. We've been able to get some better bites in. And we're actually going back into our territory here. Oh no, Percy got kicked off. I was hoping he would not, but we should still be able to jump in. The reason that I'm not attacking her immediately is because I'm kind of waiting for her stamina to go up. And also I'd like to get a neck bite. Oh darn it. If we can, we can circle around in front of her. Ah, we got trample damage instead. There we go. Now we've got a neck bite and that should be enough to bring her down. And we got a little bit of extra, extra territory from that. But that should help these guys. And they should be able to fill up their food here. Looks like Percy's keeping watch for a bit to make sure nothing comes to try and steal it. But now that these two are well fed, let's uh, make sure that they get the chance to go ahead and uh, continue doing some marking. Looks like we've got our first nearby den somewhere around here. Oh, it's right over here, it looks like. I can already smell it. I've just been claiming away at some of the territory up here. In fact, we're going to start to head into these hexes. So this is actually perfect. It works out. Uh, if we can find where this den is, this might not actually be a terrible candidate. It's right here. So that might not actually be a super bad candidate because it is closer to the center of where we want to be. Ideally, we want one that's like right in the hex uh, next to these two because we're going to kind of claim up here. But, but this one's not bad. It's definitely a potential option that's well worth keeping in mind. Oh, there's another nearby den and I actually smell it up this way. Where's this one? What, what den is this? Do I know this one? This is one. I'm not often up in this area of the map, honestly. So there's a lot of things around here that I may or may not know about. Oh, it's a it's another dirt den. There's a lot of them up here that I don't usually explore because we don't usually spend this much time near the Crevice Lake territory. Oftentimes we tend to settle down more in like the first or second meadow area. I think we've been up here before, but not not too much in this area. So some of this is a little bit uh, a little bit out of the way compared to where we usually are. Uh, that said, I don't know if we want to take this one. This is a very far north den, and I don't think we want to be quite up here, but it's, it's good to know that there is an option here if we end up settling in the area and we want to move dens. This could be one that... Hmm. Hmm, that's a little bit ominous. I just noticed a wolf carcass scent. Yeah, there's another one here. Uh-oh. That's a little worrying. Are there still more? Oh yeah, right up here by the looks of it. It seems like someone has uh, met a rather unfortunate end. Oh, Percy, that kind of looks like you. That's a little worrying. I hope that wasn't a relative. But, uh, yeah... That's a little concerning. We are we are off in Crevice Lake territory. We don't plan on claiming this one, so I think we better get out. The sun is starting to go down, so we'll probably try to claim these ones and maybe a little bit further. I've started kind of shielding off this area and in hopes that, because it'll take Junction Butte or um, Prospect Peak a bit to get there. So, so maybe that'll prevent Crevice Lake from just claiming everything. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll experiment with it. But I don't think we're going to get everything done before we have to sleep. So, yeah, uh, we, may, we may, have to, um, may have to wait a bit on that. And hopefully we don't lose too much overnight. Oh, here's this den. This is, um, this is one of the Wayfinder's dens. I do remember this one. Uh, we're just claiming some last bit of territory. We are pretty much completely out of energy. But we've claimed up here. We're going to take this one and the one right below it. And... Is that the same wolf carcass we smelled earlier? I hope so, because if there's a lot of those turning up, that could be uh, an ominous sign, to say the least. But uh, let's go ahead, we'll mark, uh, mark this one a little bit better. I always try to mark a little bit lower down. Like, I mark towards where I think the center of the territory is going to be, so that when I make laps to do the territory, that I don't have to run as far, like I don't have to run all the way across the hex. But uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm just going to finish up with this one and one other hex. In fact, let's put the, the post here and then we'll go ahead and we'll sleep through the night and see where things stand in the morning. Alright, it is morning. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Well, some of these are decaying, so I think we've got some to mark on that side. But it looks like most of these are holding pretty steady. Now, there could be Crevice Lake claiming actively in here, but I think we're just going to kind of uh, complete the circuit here 
and if we look at our quests we've got 11 hexes claimed so we're just going to work a little bit more on this and also on finding some more dens and i will see you guys in just a little bit oh there's some kind of item up here hold on what is this a plastic cooler plastic cooler I noticed there was a den nearby, but I think this would interest Moxie more, uh, considering she is pretty interested in, um, in the different human items, and she was so sad to lose her umbrella in the, uh, the last, um, I think it was the last episode in Amethyst Mountain. There is a den nearby here, too. I, it might be the same one. Oh, right here, right here. And I think this is the, um, this is the unmarked pond, I'm pretty sure. Uh, up here in the north of the territory. Oh, and there's like, there's like some ice around here. Some very iced over, um, iced over water flow happening. Uh, but let's see if we can find, but let's head, let's head down this way. We'll keep looking for that den, I think, and see if we can find some of this stuff. And if we find the den, because I think there, if we find one that's pretty central, then we'll probably leave the cooler at that because I think Moxie would probably want to collect some of these items near her den. Oh, I think I smell it. I think I smell it. Is it up here? I saw a den sense. I still see den sense right over here. Abandoned coyote den. What is this? Oh, right here, right out in the open. So this one... This one could be a decent option. It actually is fairly central. I want to see if there's any others, because this is still offset a little bit. Ideally, we want to find one in the hex next to the one we're in, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to keep sniffing around and see what else we find. Oh, there is indeed a den nearby in this middle hex. If we can find where this is, this is probably the ideal spot to put it home. We are very out of stamina and almost out of energy. We've been marking quite a lot of territory. You can see we still have to mark these and we still have to uh, claim these two, but we'll actually have like the full, um, the full, the full, not quite a sphere. I guess it's a hex shaped uh, area as well, which will be very, very good. Oh, is this it? This is it, I think. I think we've used this one before. Uh, and in fact, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one. So I think considering that if we look on our map, let's discover it. This is right in the middle of this hex. Or it's not in the middle of the hex, but it's right in the middle hex. So I think we'll, we'll claim this one. We'll go ahead. We will uh, plunk our cooler down here. And we'll put a territory post over here so that it's nice and convenient. I'm just going to finish up with the rest of this territory here. Oh! Oh, I guess that's all we needed. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we will... I think we're going to call this pack the Swift Pack because, um, you know, you think about it, they're pretty built for hunting mule deer, so they got to be kind of fast. They got to be able to be swift. And we'll stay here for just a little bit because I want to, uh, I want to finish up some of the marking. So I'll go ahead and do that here and then in, uh, fin finish off with that. We'll advance to springtime and then in uh, the next one we will go ahead and welcome our puppies. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish up marking some of that territory. We'll uh, get back and uh, I'll check in with everybody once again once we um, have marked all of that territory and uh, have that all flushed out because I think Moxie would want to be a little bit prepared perhaps. And so yeah, I will see you guys soon. Oh, <laughs> we got the real there's nightmare achievement for that one. Uh, we found quite a few dens, as you can see. We just have to finish polishing up these, and then ours is the one that's right here in this hex. So we've got a good scattering around them if it floods or the flea load drives us out, so that's really good to see. But it is getting a little bit late, so I just want to uh, mark these, and then we'll go ahead and wrap that up and advance to springtime, do any polishing up that we need. And then uh, we will welcome our puppies at the start of the next episode. Oh, there's a bison carcass here. Let's go ahead and uh, fill up a bit on that. We are getting pretty tired. Oh, there's a cougar there. Uh, cougar can leave us be. We, we're gonna eat. We are we are gonna go ahead and uh, and eat, and the cougar can can deal with it. <laughs> Percy's eyeing it. I think we're good though, so let's just grab that snack. We've all got a little bit left to mark, and then we should be good to go, and we'll finish this up. All right, we have uh, finished marking the territory. Some of these are dropping a little bit, but we may, uh, we, we'll, we'll deal with those as they get to be a problem. 
But uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up, and uh, we'll let these guys uh, sleep and attend to whatever else they need to in between episodes. And when we pick up next time, we will get to see the Swift Packs puppies. Uh, but for now, we are going to wrap this up here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.